Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yep, Yellowstone's a little upset right now. You can see all these geysers, they're just steaming away and they're moving the camera. Good timing. Yeah, there was um, an earthquake I reported that occurred late last night along the Queen Charlotte Fault Zone. And yeah, there's some interesting data that came in. Oh, yeah, it's not loading right now there we go they moved it um that was a 5.8 5.9 anyways um interesting about the energy that was transferred to yellowstone because of that earthquake um caused an earthquake here in the uh, yellowstone basin i guess you can say it was along the trans charles fault zone um, they're saying it was um, a 3.3. EMSC says it was a 3.5 right there. I come up with a magnitude 3.6. Those of you that have followed me over the years, I've talked about how earthquakes in different parts of the world do affect Yellowstone. Okay, and what's interesting is the location at Yellowstone that picked up the majority of the seismic wave that really upset it. Here we have Holmes Hill, Maple Creek. This is the area when it had its last major eruption. Yep, that's where it all started. And then the borehole, which is also close to the same location, borehole 950. But Denny Creek was the lesser of the four monitors that I downloaded. Yeah, this is, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let me show you where the earthquake occurred. Right there, I got um, a message on Twitter from one of my followers. They live in Helena, Montana, and they felt it there. USGS says it's a 3.3. No, it was um, a 3.6, um, maybe almost a 4, a little bit larger. So let's bring this out and we'll go over to Yellowstone and I'll show you the monitors that picked it up the greatest. Okay, you got to see through all my little notes. Okay, the one borehole. All right, we'll zoom into that location right there. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it because I got it in uh, white. Yeah, okay, this is the borehole. This is a very deep well under the ground. They actually had another one there at one time that stopped working, borehole 205, and then they put in this one, borehole 950. Okay, this is the Norris Geyser Basin. Let me bring it back out. Okay, over here we got Hedgen Lake. Okay, that's it right there. And then the other monitors, Maple Creek is right here. Okay, so we I'm going to try and get those all together in the same window. Okay, Borehole 950, Maple Creek, the monitor, and then the Madison River. Like I said, this is the area when it had its last major eruption. This is where the majority of the earthquakes occur, are all in this location. This is the area where the ground constantly rises and falls because of the magma intrusion coming in to Yellowstone. All right, so I want to look at Denny Creek next. That's the smallest of all the signatures. The largest is Maple Creek, Holmes Hill. All right, and that would be over here closer to Hedgen Lake. Let me pull this over right there. That's Denny Creek. So once again, the strongest signatures are within this circled area right here. So going to the monitor for um, the borehole, I want to take a look at this signature and see what we got. Volcanic. This is volcanic tremors. Starts out with harmonic. Yeah, and goes into volcanic. All right, let's look at another one. Here we got Holmes Hill. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see that? Rounded tops. 
a couple little points not a lot one there you know a couple there this is rounded this is majority of uh, volcanic tremors and then we got two other let's see which one should I start with I'll start with that one I'll have to make that one bigger right there and let's extract that now that yeah that's that's fault movement the, the cracking of the ground that was at 1732 universal time it's not on here the last one they're reporting is 1213 and that comes in let me bring it down okay that comes in as a magnitude uh, 1.14 and that's in red so the computer picked it up the next one at 1749 they're not reporting that one um, that would be uh, I'm gonna give them really a leeway here comes in as a 1.29 okay and this is the monitor for Holmes Hill both of these show up also on the borehole there's the one at 1749 and um, well it comes in a little bit later 1733 it says let's extract that volcanic tremor okay let's extract that um, that one's fault movement okay popping of the ground again this is the borehole yeah we got more popping there let's go to the spectrogram and another one there Okay, that's the one I just and more recently when I pulled the files more popping let's see we'll go to the seismic signature now this shows it coming from um, the south um, those of you again who've been with me a while when the majority of the signature points down that means it came from the south if it was up to the top that would mean it would came from the north okay we got another little pop in there so it'd be close to the um, location of the borehole. It's pretty well centered. Yeah. Let's look at that. Okay. Yeah, it's shallow. That's a shallow quake. Okay, popping. More popping. I uh, got more popping right there. Yeah. Okay, here's the monitor for Maple Creek. All right. I was doing uh, laundry when this all came in it's a pain in the butt for me to do uh, laundry I have my washing machine in the kitchen I gotta unhook um, my um, filter and hook up my <laughs> hose to the sink and put the drain hose to the sink I gotta duct tape it to the sink and um, yeah it's a big thing for me to do laundry but at least I can do it at home and don't have to go out to the laundry mat or in the basement they used to have a washing machine in the basement but the new landlord took that out and currently it's minus 24 degrees with the wind chill and it's supposed to be minus 50 degrees tonight with the wind chill look at all this this was going on before that earthquake in Alaska um, came in yeah look at them yeah are they being reported let me look okay so the first one would be 504 universal not being reported okay let's extract that yeah okay we'll just pull the whole thing okay harmonic tremors here volcanic tremors there in popping of the ground they are only reporting nine earthquakes within the last 24 hours and so we got 2306 516 okay so let's see if we can find find 516 all right we got 506 507 507 508 uh 510 whatever it's that one nope 510 uh, 512 and yeah, it's going smaller on me 514 holy cow it doesn't even show up on here let me make that bigger we're looking for five 
Well, it might be in there. Yeah, look at all the ones that are not reporting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, about 20 through there. And they'll say, oh, it's snowmobiles. It's stampeding buffalo. Let's see, 5.15, what time would have that been? That would have been at 10.15 um, p.m. There at the park. We got another one here. 5.48. So that would be 10.48 p.m. There at the park. Yeah, not being reported. Yeah. Anyway, so I got the report from Helena. And let's see. We got Great Falls. Let me see here. There it is. Okay. Oops. I went, went too far. Okay. So we got a total... Of what in this area? Eight. Okay. <laughs> and then there's a couple down here about along the Snake River Plateau. But it was reported. I asked them um, how long did it last and anything else that they could tell me. It was sent to me by Timber M.T. Jean, J-E-N. I haven't gotten a reply yet. No one has sent in any reports to EMSC. Please do that. Because USGS, when they have their felt reports, don't tell us what they felt. They got 10 on here right now. Let me refresh this. Still 10. Intensity level 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people. Outdoors by a few. Well, like I said, I was doing laundry. Had the washer and dryer both going, so... Um, I would not have noticed it. At night, they may have been woken up, but yeah, it wasn't at night. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. 10.21 a.m., I believe. I think they're an hour um, behind me. That would be mountain time. I'm central daylight time. Um, Cardwell, intensity level four. One response from there. Whitehall, intensity level two, one response. Another five from Whitehall said it was intensity level three. Silver Star, intensity level three. And Twin Bridges, intensity level three. So for intensity level three, not much of a difference between three and four. Felt noticeably again indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos rock slightly. Vibration like a passing truck. Over here on the right, I've been asked this too. Now this is what the people reporting would have said it felt like to them at that time. Magnitude 2.5, um, a 3, or maybe maybe as high as a 3.5 for the intensity level 4s. Looks like they moved the camera again. Yeah. So it was interesting data showing what location that earthquake that originally came from Alaska, how it shook up um, what areas of the caldera, but it was along the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Yeah, interesting data shows you where more than likely the next eruption is going to take place in the same area where the last one took place. Now the Trans Chalice Fault Zone, they have had you know their own fair share of past eruptions yeah so we'll keep an eye on it tonight what are your thoughts if you felt this earthquake let me know how long did it last what direction did it feel like it came from and then went to um what was the motion was it up and down sideways um like in a circle did you feel dizzy um, things like that. And how did your pets react prior to the earthquake? How long before the earthquake? When did they first give you or you noticed any indication something was amiss? Yeah, this one's a little dark down here at the bottom. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they're below zero just like I am. I'm only about 500 miles to the east from Yellowstone. I'm a little too close for the next major eruption. But, um, yeah. Anyways, 
Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared. You know, we got the threat of war. That's the one reason I was doing laundry. Uh, whenever you think things are escalating, because we are now attacking um, the Houthis there in Yemen. I don't know why they waited so long for them to take a foothold before we decided now to um, do something about them attacking all the cargo vessels going through the uh, Red Sea. Why'd they wait so long? Oh, give them a chance to build up more armament, right? And they're they're being supplied back by Iran. But anyways, um, that's why, you know, make sure all my laundry's done and dishes done and vacuuming and things like that. <laughs> Always be prepared. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.